Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle JavaScript prompts. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, in order to handle the JavaScript prompts, there are several commands. Okay, the same command that we have used for handling the JavaScript information alerts, JavaScript confirmation alerts or dialogues, the same commands we are going to use for JavaScript prompts. But before that, before using those commands, let me show you the difference between an information alert, a confirmation alert, and now the prompt kind of alerts. Okay. So even though all these alerts are JavaScript type only, but how they are different, let me show you manually first. I'll open this browser and take you to this website that is the Internet Heroku app website. Once you go to that website, let me click on this link and take you to this uh, JavaScript thing, JavaScript alerts. Okay, let's take you to this JavaScript alerts page on this website where you can see three buttons, guys. If you click on the first button, you are getting a normal alert, a information alert, which will uh, whose purpose is to just display information and you have to select, okay, that's it. Okay, kind of announcement, kind of information it is. Uh, here, they are not asking your, uh, you know, whether you want to accept this or cancel this, they are not saying that. You have to read this information and say, okay, that's it. That is the information alert. Coming to the confirmation alert, you have to confirm something. Okay. I am a JavaScript confirm. If you want to confirm, you select okay. If you don't want to confirm, select cancel. Okay. Like that. You can give your decision here. But here, it's only information. You have to accept it at any cost. Here, you can accept and dismiss at the same time. But coming to the prompt, it's even more different. So it's an upgraded version of confirmation where it will even intake the data from you. For example, if I click on this, you see, it looks similar to the confirmation uh, alert, like OK and cancel buttons and information text is there. But you see, in addition, there is one more field, text field is there where you can enter some text. Let's say I can enter my name here. And uh, if I click on OK button, you see my name will be printed here. Okay. What if I don't enter in, uh, what if I enter something and if I simply say cancel means you see null got entered. Okay. Like that. So this is how the kind of prompt alert will be uh, look will be working differently when compared to the information and confirmation alerts guys. But how to how to handle this prompt alert means everything is same guys. Okay, the way you have handled the confirmation alert, the same way you are going to handle the prompt alert. Except you have to use one extra command that is send case command for typing text into this prompt. Okay, I'll show you practically those things. So for that I'll switch to this uh, PyCharm IDE. Okay, where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Firefox browser for maximizing the browser window and for opening this particular application URL. This application URL and pasting it here, guys. Okay. After we go to this application URL, I want to let's say I just want to give for demo purpose, I'll give some time dot sleep. After three seconds, I want to click on this uh, JS prompt uh, button. Okay. When I click on this button, I'll get that uh, prompt alert. I'll inspect that prompt. And here you see. So there is some text. I'll create an XPath expression for this uh, double slash uh, button. Text is equal to just give the time press enter. You see one of one. Copy this XPath expression and simply write down driver dot find element by dot XPath. Give the XPath expression of that button and say simply dot click. After clicking on the button, guys, after clicking on the button, you will get this kind of uh, prompt alert where you can perform different uh, operations using the commands. Okay. First, I need to switch to this prompt, guys. Okay. Once this prompt is displayed, before switching, I'll give some sleep of time. Uh, just for demo purpose. After three seconds, I'll just uh, switch to this uh, prompt. That is driver dot switch to command. Same command we have to use, guys, switch to. And here we have to say alert. For all the type of alerts, you have to write the same statement for switching. And the return type, I'll say prompt. Uh, from underscore alert okay is equal to like this i'll write and now using this object reference i'll call different uh function uh, different inbuilt things of this particular alert that is prompt alert first i want to get this particular text okay what are the text that is being informed on this uh prompt alert right i want to retrieve and print in the output console for that i'll say print and inside that i'll write prompt underscore alert dot text the text uh, command will retrieve the text from that alert and uh, print in the output console with the help of print statement. Later, I want to enter my name into this uh, text field, let's say. So for that, uh, here I would write prompt alert dot send case command we have to write. And here, whatever you enter into the send case that will be typed into this field. So 
here <clears throat> so here after switching to the alert uh, yeah and then you know this part here i'll say time dot sleep for demo purpose three seconds after my uh, let's let's give more time here so that it will wait so after typing this i want to select this okay button for that i have to say prompt alert dot accept okay then after accepting i'll give some time here let's say three seconds and after that i'll quit the browser finally driver dot switch let's run this script and see whether all the things are happening or not so different things like uh, driver dot switch to alert is there okay so, uh, text uh, command is there then we have you know send keys command is there accept color command is there dismiss command is there dismiss i'll cover later after this uh, execution is done i'll cover the dismiss for you let's switch go on the prompt button after three seconds we got the prompt and after uh, three seconds it will type my name you see my name has been typed into the text field on this prompt and it will click on the okay button you see Arun Motri got entered and it will close the browser now instead of accept if i have used dismiss here then it will not uh, the this name will not be entered guys actually you will see the result on the web page anyhow i'll show you it will say that null value has been entered nothing got entered okay because you are selecting cancel button here simple words accept means uh, you are selecting okay button but uh, can uh, this means means you are canceling it okay whatever the value you are entering you are not submitting it okay when you say cancel on the prompt alert so now it will click on the js prompt button now it will type my name but it will select cancel button guys though it's typing my name it's not submitting it instead it's selecting the cancel button now and uh, you see you entered null is coming because you selected cancel because of dismiss command and it could close the browser so this is how guys uh, we have to handle the javascript forms okay in selenium python in order to handle the javascript forms these are the different commands we have to use switch to alert text to send keys accept dismiss guys which i have demonstrated in this session anyhow as i already mentioned there are three types of alerts that is information confirmation and prompt in the previous sessions i already covered information here and confirmation here now in this session i covered the prompt alerts so with this guys, uh, we are done with uh, handling the different types of JavaScript alerts. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.